discuss the results of the CUL Investor Sentiment Index and to moderate the rest of the session, we have someone very familiar with our theme, Investing in the Recovery. Having successfully navigated previous crises like the Asian financial crisis, the global financial crisis, SARS, and H1N1, during his stint as Chief Investment Officer of the country's top financial institution managing nearly $800 billion worth of funds. Ladies and gentlemen, CEO's resident portfolio management expert and president of CEO Investment Management, let's all welcome Mr. Marvin Fausto. Hi, thank you for that, Mai. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this year's 2021 market briefing entitled Investing in the Recovery. Oh, we had a difficult and volatile year in 2020. But the economy is slowly opening up and the stock market has recovered from the lows of last year. I guess the questions in our minds are, what lies ahead for 2021? And how do we participate and manage our portfolios in this recovery? These are the questions we will try to answer this afternoon. As in the past briefings, we will have our experts guide us on what to look out for and what are the risks we will be facing, so we are better guided in our decisions. Then we will have discussions towards the end. To start off, we want to know the sentiment of the retail investors today. So as shared earlier, we will be sharing our COL Investor Sentiment Report. We did a survey among retail investors and we asked them a set of questions to basically know about their views, what they are concerned about, what they plan to do with their investments, basically giving us an idea of their sentiment. So this is like a baseline. So you guys will know what the others are feeling in general. So let's look at the results. First, we asked them about how do they think about the prospects how does the recovery prospects now of your business or company you work for look in 2021? So we're asking them, is it, are you positive about the future? Are you neutral? Are you negative? And it's good. 65% of our respondents are positive. In other words, they are optimistic about this year. Next, we asked about what are the risks they are most concerned about on the stock market. And uh, what are they looking at in the next six months? What are they really concerned about? So, and top of mind, or with 48%, is really the speed and the accessibility of the vaccine. So that's really in top of mind of all people now. And 25% is really the recovery of the global economy and 24 percent also the resilience of the philippine economy as well as the earnings growth of the companies next we asked about at what level do they think the psei or the stock market will be in in six months and it looks like um they are now less bearish if you can see it, we compared the same survey that we did last year in 2020. Last year, 14% on the right side, you will see 14% are a bit bearish. And this year, 2021, it looks like much less, about 5% now are less, are bearish. So in general, people are less bearish. They're not bullish, but they're not that bearish anymore. Next. We asked about how much of your investable funds are currently invested in stocks. So we want to know if they're really fully invested. And most investors are not yet fully invested in stocks, whether directly or indirectly in funds. So about 77% of them are not yet fully invested. Only about 23% uh, are fully invested. So majority are still waiting on the sidelines. Next, 
We also about, asked about that in the next six months, what do you plan to do to your investments in stocks? Are you going to increase, maintain, or decrease? And we also compared that to last year. And we're happy to note that most investors, or 75% of them, think and believe that they will increase their investments in stocks. That's good. Next, what are you concentrating your investment action into in the next six months? In other words, where will you be more or less concentrating it? And 49% or about 50 or half are looking really at blue chips or index stocks. And about 30% are looking at growth stocks. So that's good. Looks like a very interesting uh, sentiment survey. And uh, compared to last year, I would say I would generally agree with you guys and how the investors feel right now. By the looks of it, people are feeling more optimistic about their businesses. They are less bearish about the market, meaning people are cautious. They're not that bullish, but they're cautious and they have uninvested cash. In other words, they're waiting on the sidelines still. And they are looking at increasing their exposure and the concentration of their investments will be in blue chips. So that's good, that's good to hear. These are things, there are things that to be worried about, but uh, looks like we have good reasons to be optimistic. So that's your survey.